Hi, my name is Justin Conway. Today I'm going to talk about how to crop an image into a new layer in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this is an extremely useful tool that you'll use pretty much all the time, um, but it's also a very tricky tool to, uh, to or skill to master. I'll cover the basics of it, and uh, there's lots of different ways to do this, but um, you'd want to do it if you wanted to take uh, you know, a, a basic part of a picture that really stands out and add a different background, or if you'd like to combine different pictures, particularly for marketing purposes if you have lots of different uh, products that you'd like to display in the same place, um, or, if, uh, or if you have pictures of people that you'd like to combine, uh, make sort of a funny picture, combine it with a you know, famous person or something. Anyway, this is the way to do it. So uh, go into your toolbar, and you can select um, any of these selection tools here. Um, these are going to be very rigid tools to use, uh, the square box, for instance. So if you wanted to just use a square box and just grab a piece of, let's say, a picture of my face, just like this, you would then hit Command-C on a Mac to copy, and then Command-V to paste, and it will create its own new layer. So you can see down here that um, if I get rid of the background, the new layer that was created is just the selection that I made. Um, that's very rigid. Let's talk about some more uh, refined tools. You can use uh, the lasso tools in here. Magnetic lasso will automatically sort of uh, hold onto whatever it thinks is the edge of whatever you're trying to cut out. So this is good for a quick um, cut out of something. You can select things like this. Let's just cut right across like that. And again, um, you can cut and paste, and you create your new, oh, paste the old one. Uh, make sure your layer is selected, so you've got to select the background. Um, cut and paste, and as you can see, a new layer was created for that. And then to get even more um, specific, you can actually zoom in, which I always suggest doing when you crop, as much as possible. Zoom to the, the actual pixels, and then select the lasso tool. And you'll want to just very easily go right along the edge of the image that you're cropping. And then every once in a while, loop it around so that you have your selection. And then you can continue by either selecting this button up here, which means that everything that you select is going to be added on, or hold down the Shift button, which performs the same function. And that's basically how to copy and uh, paste into a new layer in Adobe Photoshop. I hope that helped.